Hi, this is Eva Christofferson with the Quantum Astrology Report for the 6th, 7th and 8th of August 2017. Uh, the big occasion is of course the full moon, the lunar eclipse, the 7th of August at 8.11, 8pm 8 and 11 minutes here in Europe, Central European time. It's a partial lunar eclipse, a part of the moon <coughs> is covered and it can be seen in Europe, Africa, Asia. And this is called the Lion Gate because it happens where the Sun is at 15 degrees 25 minutes in Leo and the Moon is at 15 degrees of Aquarius. It's in connection with the Moon's nodes, uh, 9 degree orb, uh, the South Node is at the Moon and the North Node as we know our destiny is at 24 degrees of Leo. And it's a magnificent occasion. It's a great opportunity to leave the old and it opens a gate that will be open until the solar eclipse the 21st of, 1st of August in 8 p.m. 30 minutes Central European time, only 19 minutes after, but 14 days after, of course, at 28 degrees 53 minutes of Leo. Uh, so this is a lion activation, the lion gate to come into ourself, our quantum expression, our quantum pride, in quantum that means eternal, all dimensions, all lifetimes, uh, yeah, everything that is. And it's, this is the quantum expression, our self to truly and at last vibrate in resonance with nature and with our soul's mission to give a lighter, better world in peace. Uh, the lion is in supreme balance with itself. And I want to talk a little about quantum astrology and <coughs> a difference. Because we always go for the higher vibration the more lighter we transform, we transmute the Gemini, transform, transmute from dark to light. And sometimes we need to find the in the dualities that are between different polarities, etc. We need to find the center, the zero point, the middle point. But in quantum astrology, we always go for the higher octave, the higher resonance. And why? Because we need to focus, concentrate and learn about that higher vibration. To become it within, observe it and then project it, mirror it back from our reality. Because we construct our reality within with our quantum computer so if we are stuck in the fear the lower vibrations example transits mercury going retrograde giving a lot of fear to many people and if we are stuck in that we always will perceive that reality of course so in quantum astrology we try to go to the higher vibration, Mercury retrograde giving us an inner sight, inner feeling, being ourselves within, in with our mind in connection with our heart, our heart being in the Leo, our mind symbolized by Mercury, and Mercury 
now in this lunar eclipse is at 10, 11, 10 degrees of Virgo. Virgo, that's the quantum biology, the healer to heal ourselves and to vibrate in a new way. And when we leave the old, we, we need to stop being in that fear vibration. And therefore we need to train, train and redefine all symbols also. We, re we redefine the planet symbols and we transform the sign symbols and we do it together on Earth. Many light transformers, light workers, many star seeds as me. We're doing it together in this time, redefining it. And this is a very important point, and this makes also quantum astrology a different astrology compared to ordinary. Some is very mundane and only doing this three-dimensional world. In quantum astrology, we also go quantum. We go with Aquarius, the quantum room. The moon will be here at the lunar eclipse and the south node, giving our connection to everything in love with the Leo. And this connection gives us also the quantum lineage. The moon rules Cancer. Venus is in Cancer now. Eight degrees of Cancer in connection with Mercury. <coughs> uh, sextile with Mercury. Positive connection, vibration with Mercury. And if you are interested, if you feel that you are from another star system, I give star seed readings. Check the details below. I also give natal progressed and draconic chart readings with quantum astrology. So here's the difference. We go for the higher octave and we are cosmic, the quantum. Yeah, there are the differences also, but that's the most important. Also this, that everything is now and oneness, past, present, future. In this three-dimensional, we have this linear time, but we don't have it in the oneness that we are searching for and reaching for and creating within so it will come without. There is uh, many strong energies going on so take care, note your dreams, it's a lot of work done when you are asleep, upgrading your system, your programming, your DNA. So take a note when you're awake, take a note about everything if you like. I do a journal about my life. Uh, there's a fingerprint of God coming up with this lunar eclipse. And it's the one of the most important energetical messages from heaven, from God to us. <coughs> and it's forming, as you know, like this, two 150 degrees integration aspects, the in conjunct aspect, calling for integration. And here in one, up here, it's Pluto in Capricorn, the great transformer, uh, transforming our patriarchy, our life system. And over here in the other end, it's a sextile to Neptune, our source in Pisces, our spirit, our source, quantum spirit. So the spirit tells us to transform and the message is down to sun in Leo. Transform ourselves, be the light, be the lion we are at last. And this is a very important message in this lunar eclipse. Uh, we also have Jupiter in a square to Pluto. 
uh, Lou Jupiter in Libra, Quantum Justice, Quantum uh, Connections, Unions with others and with myself, calling this a uh, square is an inner challenge calling to uh, to transform the negative patterns that we have and in opposition to pluto is osiris the egypt ancient god that i used together with isis the myth of osiris and isis they came from atlantis to egypt together with thought and they made this, the pyramids, etc. And they were great astrologers. And Osiris is the king of the underworld. So we also need with Mars and Pluto involved here. Mars is in connection with the sun right now. Uh, to go under the veil, to reach our psychic abilities, to go under this fear vibration to go in a new way and the new will be surprising because Uranus is at pumping out energy in this great fire trine, trine with Saturn at galactic center, Black Moon Lilith and South Node and the Moon <coughs> so and the North sorry it is the North Node and the Sun and Saturn at galactic center and uh, Uranus in late areas. Uranus is pumping out energy in Uranus. It's the quantum room ruler. It's lightening up. It's breaking down in an instant, instant change, quantum leaps, transformation. And it's, of course, it is surprising. To be, so be open, be in yourself. Take care, watch this uh, great energies, observe yourself, watch the moon if you are in Europe, Africa, Asia. Uh, if you can see, watch it. It's a great experience. And we are going, we are heading for the next phase. In 14 days, the great American solar eclipse. So thank you for listening and take care much leo love in this lion gates this open portal thank you for listening bye bye